Hello, beautiful angels. <laughs> it's night time. It's Tessa and tea time. Look at this. My new, uh, well, it's not new, but my mug tonight is the owls. <laughs> and I'm going to wait for you until you appear. <laughs> hello, hello. Oh, hi, Suzanne. Are you watching me? And Gabo, Adam, hello, how are you guys? Hope you're having a relaxing time after this intense solar eclipse, right, that we had. Hello, beautiful angel. I haven't seen you lately. <laughs> ah. <laughs> so tonight, look at Gaia. My cat is here. Hi, Alithia, my co-worker. Holy moly. I haven't seen you. Hello, Miriam. Hello, guys. I'm just wondering what my cat's going to do because I lighted a candle. Yes, there's a lot of big changes. And you can see this beautiful, let me just see if you can see it. I lighted a citrine for all of us. Isn't that gorgeous? <laughs> And Gaia's here with me, watching beside me. Hello, Diane. Hello, everybody. And here's Gaia, who wants to see, wants to say hi. Hi. Hi, everybody. I know. My mom is doing something I want to be a part of. This is Gaia. He's a social butterfly. Every time we have uh, meditation at home, he comes around and... Do his thing. <laughs> okay, Gaia. There we go. That's hot. Don't want to touch the candle. So tonight, um, yesterday, we had so much fun, but it took me like an hour for uh, people to read. So I'm not going to do that again because I'm going to work tomorrow. And most of you know that I'm, I'm still doing my nursing. One more year and a half. <laughs> I'm counting the days. But it's amazing because that's my, um, you know, my love for 25 years. And now I'm going into this amazing transition like everybody else. So I actually really like the way we did it t yesterday. See this? This is the Palo Santo. I just want to introduce some people that don't know what we do. <laughs> Palo Santo is a holy wood from uh, Peru. And you could sage your room, sage yourself, sage the environment. You know, hi, Jade. So sweet. People from all over the world. <laughs> I think Jade is from Florida. Hi, Erica. Sharon. You're, you're like an owl, right? <laughs> you sleep late. Well, I've been sleeping late lately because I think there's, you know, it's just the intense energy. So what we do is uh, we start with saging, right? So I'm introducing some people that don't know sage, and this is a Palo Santo. So we need to really create the sacred space around us. Mm, if you can smell this beautiful scent. So then we can clear the air, clear the energy. And tonight, <laughs> Yes, this is live, Jade. Welcome to the world of uh, Tessa, <laughs> the selfie queen. <laughs> so tonight, I'm going to do a reading, but for only probably five people, because I, I want to sleep earlier today. And so for five, if you say yes, or maybe I'll just do a general reading. Or what, what do you think? <laughs> I think I'm just going to do a reading for all of us, and that would be awesome, right? So I will, um, I will ask the guides, our angels and archangels, to guide us. So Laura said yes already, and Philippa, okay, so then I will do a reading. <laughs> okay, so Laura and Philippa. Hello, Philippa. I don't even know where you are now. So I have these two beautiful ladies that wants a reading. And then at the end, I'm just going to do a uh, general... Oh, Gabo. My handsome Gabo. How are you? 
and Suzanne. Holy moly, now they're saying yes. All right, so I'm going to start with Laura, I'm, but I'm going to have to contain our reading because uh, yesterday I had like an hour and that's too long, right? So we all want to sleep. Philippa is flying tomorrow to Sweden. Wow, so pretty. That's so nice. You're like a gypsy. Come and visit us again, Philippa. Okay, Laura. I'm going to start with Laura. Where is this beautiful Laura? Laura McFarlane. Hmm. So I'm going to ask our guides, our angels and archangels, our ascended masters, to give us clarity, guidance, uh, truth, and... Um, a beautiful space where we can create and manifest for our highest good and our highest uh, healing. So Laura McFarland, this is your numbers. We're talking about numerology today. Wow, it's a time out, 37. 37, Laura, this is a time out. And it's a color uh, purple, which is uh, transmutation, transmutation of energy. There's so much energies around you, and you need to really uh, pay attention to yourself. So time to have um, a retreat, you know, inner reflection, journaling, really time out, right? It's a time out for yourself. You need your time to yourself. It's really paying attention to yourself. And having that um, sacred space, like, you know, lighting a candle, um, inviting your masters, really having that beautiful uh, time. Because we need to balance our energy. And if you're always giving, you need to really find a space that you can receive love for yourself. So time out for Laura. And I guess for all of us, we need some time out, right? And... 37 is the number 10, which is about creativity and confidence. Also, um, uh, be attuned to your creative self. And <laughs> did you get a timeout? <laughs> Who's talking? <laughs> is that funny? You got a timeout card right away. <laughs> right away, get go. Timeout. <laughs> So cool. So now we're going to do for uh, Philippa. Philippa, this pretty girl that came to visit us. Thank you for sharing, Preet. Thank you so much for sharing. And we're doing numerology cards, so it's really very fast and just very direct, direct guidance with the numbers. And we have our cat here is visiting too. So I just want to make a space for Gaia. If you could see Gaia. <laughs> Where is Gaia? Gaia, come in here. Come Gaia. There's Gaia. So we have Philippa, okay? Now Gaia's in the way. <laughs> okay, um, and our computer just uh, closed down. Yes, honey. <laughs> Philippa, we have personal growth, number seven. Philippa, this is a beautiful card for personal growth. So number seven is the number of um, trust and openness, okay? Opening your heart, really trusting the universe, that the universe is going to assist and support you in all that you do and your dreams and your with your intentions and personal growth is really uh, a, a part of the process where you're at it's like your evolution you're shifting you're you're going through a very um intense like a transition so this time is very <laughs> so mildred wants another reading holy moly <laughs> okay let's just let's just turn this around because i'm not in the right space. Gaia's taking over. <laughs> Gaia. Okay, so beautiful Philippa. Make sure you're you're uh, taking time for yourself. It's your personal growth number seven. You're the mystic number. And Tommy wants a card too. Okay, you're in the line here. <laughs> 
Personal growth. Thank you so much, Philippa. Mm -hmm. Now, Gabo. Gabo is my uh, one of my best friends. Uh, uh, <laughs> Kathleen's uh, what do you call common law <laughs> partner? Okay, Gabo. Here you go, Gab. This is for Gabo. Okay, Gaia, leave me alone now. <laughs> <laughs> wow number 11 Gabby Gab number 11 is a master number so that means you're in a, a process of um, mastery okay Philippa saying thank you Tessa your right transformation I'm pregnant oh my goodness <laughs> sorry Gabo you're not pregnant it's Philippa <laughs> Wow, that is such a blessing, Philippa. Thank you for telling me you're pregnant. Oh my God, I love babies. I'm going to be a grandmother actually. So, wow, I'm so happy for you. That's so big. <laughs> wow, congratulations. And uh, leave me a message where you are and what you're doing and when are you due date, okay? Thank you, Philippa. So, Gabo, let's get back to you. <laughs> 11 is a master number and it's saying individuality so gabo you have a, this is a color of the sacral chakra <laughs> sacral chakra is the orange so it's about um <laughs> gabo it's about your relationship with creativity creativity because you're an artist so you, you have that unique gifts to really share and shine to the world this is the time for you to take that really shine and um, envision that you are this amazing artist I've seen your work and that's really an awesome um, piece of art so Gabo just take it and be the master of your creativity and it's your individual expression it's your creative expression that's calling you okay that's so awesome thank you so much <laughs> all right so suzanne dun, 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 dun. my beautiful suzanne this is from suzanne is it suzanne my darling where is suzanne i could see you anymore okay we'll just go with suzanne and then we'll have mildred and tani <laughs> <laughs> this is so fun even if it's nighttime <laughs> Suzanne moderation number 14 Wow okay Suzanne <laughs> thank you Gabo you're welcome and uh, send my love and kisses to Kathleen okay my beautiful Suzanne this is the heart chakra and it's about healing and moderation. So number four, that's um, 14, sorry, it's five. Five is the number of freedom, uh, discipline, moderation, really just uh, slowly taking your time to, to do your uh, healing of the heart, right? So uh, take some time for yourself, be in moderation so you don't uh, really push hard. Don't be hard on yourself. Take your time. The green is the, the healing heart. And Archangel Raphael is, is with you. So thank you. Thank you, Suzanne. Thank you for uh, tuning in with us and bringing Archangel Raphael with us. And number five is freedom. You are free. You know, when you're free, you're able to really express yourself and be in the heart chakra. Just be gentle. Gentleness and kindness. That always work <laughs> right awesome thank you we have mildred dun, 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 dun. <laughs> hi from paris wow <laughs> i've never been to paris one of my uh, city that i want to, to visit thank you for um tuning in with us and i actually saw my favorite paul elder oh my gosh <laughs> hello paul I love your angel book. I remember reading your angel book. And I met you at Calgary, if you remember. <laughs> okay. Love your energy. Yes. I'm always like this, I think. <laughs> but um, there's something in the air, right? We want to be uplifting and really in that joyful heart. 
I'm planning to move to Kamloops. Makes sense. Oh, we will miss you, but we're gonna come and visit you. <laughs> Suzanne, Kamloops is so pretty, right? I love that place too. Okay, beautiful angels, take your tea. Bring your tea. This is our tea time with uh, the owls. Look at this beautiful owl. It's awesome. I like this owl. So everywhere I go, like um, uh, to remind me of the beautiful place. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Great news, <laughs> Suzanne. Great news. Congratulations. Thank you. Hmm. Wow, there's a lot of people who are awake at night. I didn't know. <laughs> I'm usually asleep. So we're going to go further so then we can um, we can do more uh, readings for Mildred. We'll get to Mildred. <laughs> Laura, the owl scare you. I, I just love that totem because it's, um, it's, it's the totem for wisdom, the owls. That's why they, they stay up all night as well. They're protector. And for Mildred, I have... Woohoo! <laughs> That's the owl. Manifestation. Number eight, Mildred. This is so cool. Number eight is manifestation. It's your heart chakra. So really, this is wealth, power, abundance. Power and abundance, it's within you. So believe and uh, just have that faith. I feel like in your in your heart chakra, there's kind of like some stuff that needs to clear. So Mildred, just have that strong faith and have Archangel Shamuel to assist you with your uh, manifestation. Like really um, pay attention to, to all your thoughts. I'm, I'm turning hot. <laughs> from all this uh, uh, healing energies so manifestation that's so cool for our beautiful Mildred and for all of us too because this is a collective group so as we as we come into all these uh, energies that are in the group they are assisting us to remind ourselves it, you know to have this amazing grace right as amazing space for all of us so manifestation is around us so thank you so much for bringing that manifestation card mildred thank you and now i have tammy thank you so much tessa your reading last night was a blast can't wait for the blessings and this reading is just wow it goes with the reading last night thank you once again <laughs> you're very welcome it's really awesome to be together, connected. So I have this, uh, just an insight or a calling that I would have to assist people sharing uh, gifts of blessings, right? So for all of us to, to really be together, especially in this uh, challenging time. So I'm here to remind you guys that we need to be gentle, to be uh, supportive of each other, collaborating, uh, as a community so i'm reminding again for all of you guys who live around in vancouver area i uh, we've created my own sisters we call ourselves om sisters <laughs> we created this event oh Preet, Preet is not in our list of course of course i'm gonna do a reading with you i only have tammy and then Preet, and that's it because that's all i could do tonight <laughs> Thank you so much. So November 11 and 12 in New Westminster, it's called In at the Key. I have 12 speakers. I call them Councils of 12. They're going to be a panel on November 11 and 12 to speak about anything that comes up, about ascension, uh, healing, archetypes, spirituality, uh, blockages, karma, whatever comes up, the, the audience can ask questions. And also, we will have so much fun. We have drumming, yoga, uh, sound healing. So this is so cool. It's a community gathering. And last month, I had this event at um, Atrium Inn, and it was really fantastic. We have 38 vendors, healers, readers, you name it. So 
the goal and the intention of this community is to really create a sacred space for our uh, people, right? The light workers. And also we, we meet together every month. We gather together so we can... Apple, you have such a golden heart. Oh! <laughs> Thank you so much. I love that golden heart. Well, I hope it's a soft golden heart. Because <laughs> gold is kind of hard. But I like the golden heart. Thank you, Apple. Thank you so much. Yes, it's very exciting. I'm really working hard on it. I mean, like, it's so awesome that the universe just gives me uh, all these amazing people. Like today, I, um, Susan, Susan Lee Nguyen, who's an acupuncturist and the owner of Limina Spa in New Westminster, signed up to be one of the speakers. And she's helping me promote this event to the New Westminster area and uh, Linda, Linda Stelluti, who's the creator of uh, Stella, Garden of Stella. She's a very creative, uh, s amazing, amazing young girl who's well over my, my wisdom, you know. She's amazing. Hopefully by next month I'll receive what I've been waiting for, then I'll join you in November. Of course, you will re receive the manifestation. And just... Give me a message because uh, we also help people who are going through challenges. So then the healers can, uh, you know, can participate. We don't discriminate people. So just uh, give me a message, Mildred, on how we can work it out with you. Okay? Thank you. I didn't even know Mildred because <laughs> I don't know if, if you live here or wherever you are. Okay, Laura, you, you have to be with your baby. <laughs> He's crying. You need to, to help the baby. I only have two readings left. This is for Tammy, and then I'm going to go with Preet, okay? Yay! I have Tammy. Oh, no! Mildred is from California. Oh, <laughs> that's great. Uh, well, I'm going to California. I'm going to be in L.A. in um, end of October. I'm going to be a grandmother. So that is so cool, right? Maybe I'll see you if you're in L.A. area. So this is for Tammy. Where is Tammy? I want to see Tammy. Where is Tammy? Who is Tammy? I'm looking for Tammy. Oh, she's all the way up there. Congrats. Thank you. Where is Tammy? Tammy Bozard. Okay, now I get it. Tammy Bozard. <laughs> okay, Tommy. Wow, 61. Self-love. So, Tommy, this is the color of the sacral chakra, which is your, um, the chakra for sexuality, relationships, passion, creativity. This is your uh, sexual organs, right? So, self-love is about... Um, Really uh, spending time with yourself unconditionally, um, you know, thinking about how your thoughts are. So if you have kind of like critical, judgmental thoughts about yourself, this is the time to really uh, pay attention to that and to acknowledge and release it. When we acknowledge these harsh thoughts, then we are able to... Um, to be gentle and to be kind to ourselves. So self-love is so important. Without self-love, we can't really give from that empty emptiness, right? So self-love. And number 61 is a combination of uh, seven. So seven is about trusting and open openness. So opening your heart, trusting your heart, trusting others. This is um, the mystical number. It's the, it's the number of spirit. It's uh, mysticism, spirituality. So you're really connected to the, the spiritual dimension, Tammy. And so take time for yourself. Do some self-care and self-love. This is all about you now. You've, been, you've done your part taking care of other people. And this is about you loving yourself unconditionally 
self love and that's also for all of us guys so i'm going to do hi do you live in the coast Sheila Keelan. I actually live in uh, <laughs> New Westminster, British Columbia in Canada. So, but I do also, oh, Sheila, wa Sheila wants a reading. Okay, so you're going to be the last one, Sheila. And Preet. I think my cousin is up here too, Maggie. Hi, Maggie. I live in New Westminster, British Columbia. And I do my readings. Um, I actually do healing. I just do this for fun. <laughs> my, my healing is about um, Akashic Records. So I open the book of life. I open your uh, book of life. And I also have, I, I became a bestseller on May 21st. I became a writer. And the, the book is uh, Ions of Manifestation. Hmm, maybe I will show you. I'm going to Sorry about that. <laughs> so these are the books that I that I uh, created with uh, the masters. So my first book is Universal Conscious Self. It's very simple. There's like a hundred pages, and very direct. Four simple steps to connect to your true essence. So it's kind of like a level one Akashic Records, and this is like the level two Akashic Records Science of Manifestation. And uh, yeah, so you can download it and it's really awesome to understand how to open your records. I, I truly uh, want everybody to know how to access the records and, and it's in Amazon.com. Ions of Manifestation. On page 57 is uh, how to access your records. Okay, so you can you, you can have that um, copy. All right, thank you, Sheila, for uh, bringing that up. <laughs> I always forget to promote my books. <laughs> it's kind of like uh, you know you have so many things to talk about, you forget about the things that uh, matters as well. So I'm going to read on uh, Preet. <laughs> yes. And I think I'm planning on to do a uh, like a webinar class, like maybe like once a week we could uh, create a group, you know, open a webinar maybe in Google Hangout. I'm going to do that so then you could access your records with me guiding you and that would be cool, right? Like we will see each other once a week and that would be awesome. I w uh, Sheila, can you uh, send me your email address? Or I would, I would actually um, contact you, Keelan, Sheila. And that would be tomorrow. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to get with uh, the readings. Yeah, that, that's really a cool idea to open, uh, help you access your records, you know. That will be deeper. That's the deeper. That's the soul healing. And the reading is awesome for fun and like tuning into the energies, right? So we have my beautiful print. Print. Number 71, health. Hello, Kelly. My beautiful Kelly. So number 71, print. It's about your health. It's the sacral chakra, also your crown chakra. So this is all about, I'm feeling uh, stress. Like, um, you, you know, when, when you're around stress or toxic energy or people around you, you really need to understand how to protect yourself, how to call on the masters, like calling the Saint Germain and the Violet Flame. And just like what we did today, um, I was showing you this uh, Palo Santo, which is so cool. It shifts the energy and it's holy, Hollywood from Peru. There. So when you're feeling this uh, stagnant energy, right, you could um, just help yourself and the, the surroundings and call the masters to protect yourself. 
so then the energies are lifted isn't that awesome mm, you could smell it you could get it from a metaphysical store we have a Banyan bookstore we have so many uh, beautiful stores here with this in white rock yes so that's to remind you to protect yourself it's Palo Santo I don't know if I could write here yeah I actually can write here Palo Santo here we go yeah cleansing and clearing is really important for your house and your body yeah sage stick is also good but the smell is different I like Palo Santo it, it's something sweet so health for our preet number 71 is 8 so that's about uh, manifestation so your 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 system wants to trans you know transcend this uh, lower energies that you're feeling uh, balancing your energies you know protection is important also your sacral chakra is a it's uh, about healing relationships and creativity passion all this stuff that are blocking you 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 will be able to you know be become aware and just take it easy take it easy on yourself okay so thank you so much and now we have the last one <laughs> Sheila is it Sheila Sheila okay Sheila this is our last reading I know I'm alive again <laughs> Hi, Jen. Thank you, Tessa. Makes sense. Oh, I guess that's one of them. Makes sense as I'm going for tests for health. You are on point. Much love. You're welcome, sweetheart. And blessings on your, um, on your checkup tomorrow. And keep in touch. And yeah, sending you love vibes, healing. Okay, Sheila. One, one card fell off. And I'm gonna grab another one okay so this is making sense the first one is financial discipline which is 48 so that's like a 12 mm -hmm. okay so financial discipline and also 33 is communication I'm just gonna drink my tea because this is our last reading for Sheila okay guys Sheila 48 is the number of 12 so I feel like this is a completion for you you know um, financial discipline is about you having a uh, direct it, it's all it's so direct right I love this numerology so it's a completion for you to to be a master of, of, of your finances to to get freedom <laughs> yeah well because this is energy everything is energy so when we pick the cards it really resonates to to us so by having communication which is a 33 is a master number and truly um, that is also the color of your solar plexus and truly um, having that confidence and trusting yourself that you're able to be more than enough that you're always connected to the central sun to to the love energy of uh, the abundance these golden opportunities are going to knock on your door they are good signs right when you trust the universe so Sheila trust the universe trust that you can make it that you are more than all these illusions that happen in your life so trusting having that awesome communication <laughs> so how do I do that that I've been wondering how and if I should invest and save well to tell you the truth you should consult a financial uh, planner right it's not you, you can you can't have good directions without the uh, professional because the professional knows like uh, my son's a financial planner so he always bugs me about finances and you know spirituality because I'm I'm such a giver so I'm always like giving right and he he wants me to be grounded and to know what I'm doing to to know where the investments are 
So literally, he 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 plans my finances. Because <laughs> to tell you the truth, I'm not really keen on finance finances. Because I love to spend, and <laughs> and I just I'm just like a princess. I I like beautiful things. I like to travel. I live in the moment, but my son uh, grounds me because he's an earth sign. He's a Virgo. He's a financial consultant. He's, you know, he knows what he's doing because he studies it and that's his work. So listening to a financial planner and really getting a, a good uh, accountant or, you know, I have a good friend that's, uh, that I've been hanging out with. Um, so that's so cool. <laughs> Well, I will connect you to my son, and you, you can you guys can connect and uh, see where you're at. And he's so amazing. <laughs> he's like um, he has freedom now. He can travel and has his investments, and he knows details and all these things. So Shayla, that's such a beauty. So financial discipline for all of us and communication. Really having that belief, you know trusting and being open on your difficulties on your challenges to truly communicate to someone that really understands your uh, situation so don't have shame or or guilt like my son always tells me mom you don't need to be ashamed of your finances because people make mistakes because they don't know what they are doing wrong if people can only spend beyond their means that's what he says <laughs> It, it will create uh, saving for the future, but we don't think that way. We always overspend or, you know, when we're emotional, we, we spend money, so it's not really good for us. So we need someone that grounds us and know what we're going through. But by really communicating our financial challenges, then we're able to have clarity, directions, and guidance from a, a point of someone who understands the situation. All right, thank you so much. So beautiful souls. I'm, uh, I'm now in the space of winding down. <laughs> I need to sleep. I'm going to work tomorrow. So we had the time out. That means we need to really pay attention to ourselves, retreat, doing some reflections. And this is individuality for creativity. Also, we have, we're going through a personal growth. And just take some time to moderate, have some moderation, and you're able to manifest power and abundance for all of us by truly loving ourselves and taking care of our health, taking care of our financial discipline, <laughs> taking care of our finances, and Communication. Communication is so important for all of us, for ourselves and others. So then we can collaborate, you know, have some harmony and unity. So thank you so much and have the blessings of the angels. Call on Archangel Michael. So I could actually do some uh, blessing. You can close your eyes. Take some deep breath. Thank you so much. We call upon our angels and archangels, the ascended masters, our spiritual teams and guides, our loved ones and ancestors, our higher selves and our body gave the spirit for full, fully opening and receiving these messages for all of these souls. We ask for healing, the grace, and love for all these energies to manifest blessings and gifts in our life. Thank you for our guidance, directions, clarity that we receive and that we're able to connect and communicate from the deepest core of our heart and being. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. And feel their presence around you. And may you have these beautiful blessings and have a beautiful dream, sweet dreams, beautiful angels. Thank you. Mm, bless you. Thank you so much, Gabby and Jen. Thank you so much.
I love you all. See you tomorrow. And that's you what time. <laughs> Namaste. Oh, I'm still here.